Well, parts of Clearwater are no longer permitting people to go even near the beaches. Right, and uh, we're going to get right to News Channel 8's Mark Douglas. He's live in Pinellas County at one of the checkpoints. And you've been out there. I saw a lot of flashing lights earlier. How are things looking? Are the officers still out there this morning, Mark? Oh, they sure are. A little bit of excitement just a moment ago when somebody ran this checkpoint leading out onto the Memorial Causeway. Uh, technically speaking, legally speaking, they uh, stopped people from going out to the beaches at 6 a.m., not only here, but up and down uh, Pinellas County. So uh, that created a, quite a bit of excitement. I don't know why that guy felt he needed to get out there. And in fact, here comes another car. I'm, he's going to get the uh, same treatment here. Let me see what he's doing. Okay, he's trying to figure out how to get out there, and he's not going to get past these guys probably the second time around. Uh, the truth is, uh, this has been one of the biggest evacuations Pinellas County has ever seen. Uh, many people, thousands, have heeded the call to get off those beaches. Here's a look at what we saw just a short while ago. From Clearwater Beach to Pasa Grill, Pinellas County beach communities are deserted. Thousands heeded the call to evacuate. At least 17,000 have gone to 17 public hurricane shelters like Largo High School. That's where 3,000 people have taken refuge. Deb Sagan and her husband checked in at 515 this morning. It's one of those things where you just want to get off the island if you can. We tried to yesterday and checked into a hotel, one to check into a hotel in St. Pete that was unsafe. At last report, there are 23,000 uh, sp spots still available in Pinellas County shelters. There are 17 active shelters right now. And as I just said, uh, 17,000 as of midnight checked into those shelters. You can see the police officers here with Clearwater rearranging these barriers. Uh, they just had a shift change a little bit ago, and uh, they're trying to make sure that nobody else uh, gets the idea that they can go out to the beaches. Uh, so far, the weather's pretty good out there. You can see it's sprinkling here, fresh breeze, but it's going to get a lot worse, uh, obviously, as the day wears on. So not a good place to be. So whether you forgot your mother-in-law or your medicine, <laughs> you're not going out on that beach without a uniform or a badge. And mother-in-law or medicine or, or either one of those. Mark, let me ask you this. At what point are they still going to be out there? Or at what point do things get bad enough that those officers pick up the cones and get to safety themselves? Well, they haven't said that. Uh, they haven't said what point that would be. But I'm pretty sure that uh, once the uh, winds reach hurricane force that they're going to find a safe place like the rest of us. And uh, anybody out on the beach can get off the beach, but uh, they're going to be pretty much at their own risk if they decide they want to go out there. And, and frankly, you'd have to be a little crazy to try to do that. Now, I see a lot of cars coming up here. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, maybe it's just a shift change. I don't know. But it's getting quite active here as uh, daylight is now upon us. So that's the situation out here, Marco. Yeah, uh, it's a pretty active scene. Mark, I'm wondering if maybe they're thinking now that the daylight is coming, we, there might be some more people trying to make it as opposed to when it was darker. So, And, and we have seen the traffic pick up. You know, earlier today, we, we went from all the way from Clearwater Beach uh, down to Pasigro. We saw exactly three people uh, who were not uh, uniformed or wearing badges. And, you know, there's at least that many people that have come by here uh, trying to get out there, most of them being turned away except for that guy that, you know, somehow got around the barriers during the shift change. He took advantage of that situation. And to your point, Mark, I tell you what, uh, the, the window of time, you know, people wake up, it's not so bad outside, but what they don't realize is that things are deteriorating quickly, or they will. Well, and, and sure, and, and what we keep saying and what uh, they keep telling us is that you, you run from the water, you hide from the wind. Well, when that storm surge gets here, a lot of these beach communities are going to be underwater. It's going to come in quickly. It's going to flood the streets, and people are going to find themselves trapped if they try to get out here. Uh, somebody came by here earlier and told the police they wanted just to go out and have a look and see what it was like. Bad idea. And, and frankly, you're not going to see much. It's a ghost town out there right now. And when you get in the thick of it later on, uh, it's going to be a terrifying experience, not something you want to be in. Trust me. All right. Mark Douglas coming to us live from uh, Clearwater. Thank you.